video we revise four of the key humans in Animal Farm, thinking about vital characteristics and real world connections. We'll begin with Mr Jones, who at the start of the novella is the irresponsible owner of Manor Farm. Due to lack of care, Jones has allowed the farm to fall into disrepair. When the animals stage a rebellion, he and his wife and his workers are unable to defend themselves effectively and they're forced out. An attempted recapturing of the farm is unsuccessful. The real world comparison that Orwell intended his readers to make was with Tsar Nicholas II. Tsars are the Russian equivalents of kings or emperors. Tsar Nicholas II was overthrown during the communist uprising of 1917, much as Mr Jones was removed from the farm during the rebellion. From the animal's perspective, the farmhouse represents the lap of luxury, and in Orwell's satire, it could be viewed as a metaphor for Nicholas's royal palace. Manor Farm has two neighbouring farms. Mr Frederick runs Pinchfield Farm. He is a shrewd, calculating farmer who is wary of Animal Farm and the Animal Rebellion. When Napoleon puts some timber up for sale, Frederick is keen to get himself a deal. He achieves this by paying for the wood with forged banknotes and then follows up his foul play by launching an attack on Animal Farm. His men are chased away, but not before destroying the windmill. Frederick is intended to represent Adolf Hitler. The timber sale is a metaphor for a peace agreement between Germany and Russia that took place in 1939. Although the two superpowers forged this pact between them, it was full of mistrust from both sides and Hitler brought it to an end when he invaded Soviet territory in 1941. Then there is Mr Pilkington who owns Foxwood Farm. Like Mr Frederick, Pilkington is also interested in the animal farm timber. When Napoleon chooses to sell the wood to Frederick, Pilkington is annoyed and consequently refuses to help when the windmill is attacked. However, by the end of the book, Pilkington and Napoleon have reached an uneasy understanding of each other, mostly because their capitalist system with which they both operate their farms gives them something in common. Pilkington could be seen as a metaphor for Russia's World War II European allies, Britain and France. These countries teamed up in 1941, but the coalition was seen as one of necessity rather than a means to build friendship. And accordingly, the relationship between them was full of distrust and suspicion. Finally, I'll mention Mr Wimper, the solicitor, who acts as a go-between for Animal Farm and the world of the humans. Wimper's willingness to make money through working with Napoleon and his corrupt regime is a metaphor for immoral capitalist organisations who have no problem profiting from their dealings with totalitarian governments. The information in this video is available in written form in our Animal Farm Revision Guide and you can purchase a digital copy of this at the link in the video description. Look out for our other character breakdowns on the Beyond YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.